एवरीवन वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग सो हियर वी आर टू प्रैक्टिस डे टू ऑफ आर स्प्लिट चैलेंज आई होप यू आर रेडी सो फर्स्ट वन वीक ऑफ दिस चैलेंज वी गोन टेक इट रियली लाइट टू ओपन अप आर बॉडी एंड टू सी हाउ मच फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी वी हैव गॉट एंड स्लोली स्लोली वील गेट बेटर सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर डिले लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट ओके सो बिफोर वी स्टार्ट आर एक्चुअल वार्म अप फॉर द यू नो फॉर रीचिंग स्प्लिट आई वॉन्ट यू टू डू मिनिमल वार्म अप फॉर एग्जाम्पल नेक रोटेशन शोल्डर रोटेशन रिस्ट रोटेशन सो प्लीज कंप्लीट ऑल दीज थिंग्स सो दैट वी कैन स्ट्रेट अवे स्टार्ट विथ सूर्य नमस्कार एंड रेस्ट ऑफ द मूवमेंट सो नाउ लेट स्टार्ट विथ सूर्य नमस्कार स्ट्रेट अवे अज्यूमिंग दैट यू हैव डन मिनिमम एंड सिंपल वार्म अप बाई योर सेल्फ ओके सो लेट्स ट्राई टू डू सिक्स सूर्य नमस्कार दैट इज थ्री सेट्स राइट साइड एंड लेट लेफ्ट साइड थ्री थ्री ओके सो कम टू सेंटर स्पाइन स्ट्रेट पाम टूगेदर ब्रीद इन ब्रीद आउट Inhale one. Exhale two. Right leg back. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Down. Three. Four. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. third round 3 down fourth round Four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fifth round, down, three, four. Six. Give a complete stretch of each asan. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Ten. Last one down. This one give a maximum stretch. Three. Four. Six. Hold here in Parvatasan last round. Mountain posture is a important asan for you to achieve your split. So give the maximum stretch and hold five, <coughs> four, three. Try to drop your heels down. Two, one. Left leg forward. Right. Give a complete forward fold. Hold here again. Hold your ankle from behind. Now, last inhale and exhale. Relax. This was one part of our important warm up. So, once you complete six rounds of Surya Namaskar, which is your absolute choice, you can do more number also. So, once you are done with it, you're just gonna take a quick break. You're gonna drop your hands down, shoulders down. Slow down your breath. Take a deep inhale and deep exhale. Relax your mind, relax your body. Now slowly, open your eyes and get your legs together. If you have to achieve split, you need to work a lot on the lower body, your hamstrings and your hip joint. These two are the things which you have to focus a lot. Along with that, your 
uh, lower part of your spine also gets involved so you have to work on these three parts majorly hamstrings hip joint but little bit of your back too so let's try to do one more warm up you're going to keep your both the legs slightly apart from each other and you're going to create a big circle just like chakki chalan but standing one interlock your both the fingers stretch your hands up your intention is to get closer to the floor as much as possible keep your both the legs 45 degrees out so that it's easy for you to rotate to any of the directions no inhale up exhale try to keep your spine as straight as possible do not round your shoulder so the more you keep it straight you work on your hamstrings too so try to get your hands closer to the floor and come back to center let's do this five times both the sides exhale inhale exhale stretch get closer to the floor come back two more exhale down get closer to the floor come back last one clockwise come back to center now same thing the other side exhale go down come back to center two feel your hamstrings being stretch three four last one five stretch 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 come back and drop your hands down if you have done this properly you can already feel your hamstrings being nicely pulled now let's move to the next one you're going to turn to the right side keep your both the toes pointing outside including your chest so make sure that your spine is straight keep your hands on the waist now as you exhale you're going to bend forward but keeping your spine extremely straight as much as possible now inhale exhale bend forward see do not round your shoulder just to reach the ground intention is to get the flexibility if you have flexibility by default you will reach the ground faster now we'll do this 10 times quickly exhale inhale two center three center four center five center six center seven center eight center nine center last one 10 extend your hand so you will know how far you are actually from your thigh to touch your forehead so stay here come back to center so if you find it too hard to balance you can take a help of the chair or some object to hold and then you move turn to the other side <clears throat> quick 10 counts of <clears throat> sorry my throat <clears throat> okay so let's try to do the 10 counts now exhale down inhale up two try to keep you both the knees straight three exhale down keep looking down four five six seven eight nine last one 10 try to stay there for at least 4 to 5 seconds just feel the stretch and come back to center now you're going to keep your both the legs forward but keep your legs little more wide so now the last the same thing what we did in the side we're going to do the same thing now forward keep your hand to the waist or you can keep your hand behind the head whichever works well for you but now keep your shoulders out so do not round your back exhale down one give that extra push here two three spine straight four five 
six, seven. Let's do three more. Eight. Do not be comfortable. Push yourself a little. Nine. The last one. Ten. Stay here. Come back to center. Get your legs together. Now you can already feel that your hamstrings and your hip joint is slightly being stretched. So you're going to relax your both the legs. Okay. Next one, the most important movement which we are going to do almost 30 days without fail. This is mountain walking. I call it as mountain walking because you are in Parvatasana and you keep walking forward and back. That is something which will help you to open up your hamstrings. You will be surprised where is the flexibility coming from. So, but dedicated you have to keep practicing this. Now we are going to do mountain walking five times. This is something try to spend good time. This is what is going to give you the major benefit for the flexibility. So let us try doing this five times really slow. Okay. From here come to Parvatasan first. Stretch your spine. Preferably try dropping your heels down. Now slowly start walking with the baby steps. One, two, three, four, five. Try not to bend your knee till the last minute. Once you reach the front, exhale, try to get your chest closer to the thighs. Now again walk back. One, two, three. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Now five, where you try to keep a complete Parvatasan. Try to keep your knees straight. Now walk forward again. Second round. One. Two, three, four, chest closer to the thighs, five, feel the stretch, hold here for a second, breathe in, breathe out, now walk back, one, two, three, four, and five, stretch your back. Knee tighten, try to make yourself uncomfortable. You should feel that your hamstrings are pulling, you are feeling a lot of stretch. Now, third round, walking forward. Breathe in, breathe out. Now, walk back again. One, two, three four and then five try to give a complete stretch fourth round walking forward one two three four five get closer to the thighs walk back again one two three four five stretch your back last one one two three four five walk back one two three four stay here five so try to hold at the maximum capacity of your Parvatasana. Five, four, three, two, one. Now drop your knee down. So you're going to relax, but there also you try to give some stretch. So you're going to keep your both the knee apart from each other. Keep your toes on top of each other. Try to keep your spine straight as you exhale. You're going to drop your chest down. From here, slowly take your hands forward and try dropping your chest down on the ground. Breathe in, breathe out. Now, come back to center. The next important 
movement to achieve your split is a lizard posture. So let's try lizard posture, both the sides five times. So you're gonna come to full plank. I'm gonna go take your right leg next to the right palm outside. Drop your knee down. So when you drop your knee down, your hip should go really low. Try to drop your hip down. Feel the stretch right there in the hip joint. Walk back. Other side. Hip down. Breathe in, breathe out. Walk back. Four more times. <clears throat> breathe in. Breathe out. Back. Other side. Hold. Breathe in. Breathe out. Third time. Just drop your hip joint down and make sure that you feel the stretch. That's all you have to worry about. Don't overdo it. It's just your second day. This is the fourth round and the last we are going to practice. Hold three, two, one. Leg back. Other side. Hold three, two, one. Come back. Drop your knee down. Now just quickly relax your wrist. We are going faster wherever it is needed and we are going slow wherever it's needed. So it's a combination of the movements, the way you practice. So when I'm trying to do something, if your body is okay with going so fast, you can do that. Otherwise, you can go slow. It's not necessary that you have to practice according to the speed which I'm going because I don't know how your body is taking it. So listen to your body and try to see if the alignments are going well and then practice accordingly. Okay, so we are going to do the lizard posture again, but with, we are going to add one more extra movement to this, just to deepen your stretch. So now, right leg forward, left knee down, drop your left elbow, right elbow down. It will make your practice deeper. You can feel a lot of stretch right now compared to before. And then you come back. Knee up, leg back, leg forward, knee down, elbow down, other elbow down. In the beginning, if you're not able to drop your both the hands down, just drop opposite hand and see. Only if you're comfortable, you're going to drop other hand too. Now, leg back. Second round, leg forward, knee down, elbow down, elbow down. Come back, knee up, leg back. Leg forward, knee forward, elbow down, elbow down. Elbow up, knee up, leg back. Third round. Knee down, elbow down, elbow down. Come back, knee up, leg forward, knee down, elbow down. Come back, third round. Now, the last four, two rounds this is the fourth one. Come back, leg back, leg forward, hands down. The fifth round. If you are so tired, take it easy, reduce the number of the counts in the beginning. Drop your hands down. Come back. The last round. With the left leg, drop your elbows down. Come back to center. Drop your knee down. Relax your hip joint a little. Relax your wrist a little. The next one, you're going to keep your legs wider. Chakki Chalan, you're going to do a lot of Chakki Chalan for the next 30 days. 
So keep your legs wider. I know few people struggle here because of the lack of flexibility in the lower back. So please do a lot of cat and cow and mountain walk that should release the tightness and it should be easy for you to sit down on the ground like this. Now keep your both the legs wider. Sit in such a way that sitting itself gives you a bit of stretch. So it will be easy for you to move on from there. So you're targeting the right amount of flexibility that you're looking for. So from here you're gonna Keep your both the hands interlocked, turn to the right, exhale forward, try to get closer to the floor, come back to center. Okay, let's do this clockwise, anti-clockwise, 10, 10 times. Two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Try to get closer to the floor. Now, opposite side, same thing we're going to do anti clockwise. One, exhale, inhale. Two, Exhale, inhale, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Okay, that was a deep stretch to the hamstrings and more than hamstrings, I think hip joint and hamstring will equally feel the stretch here. So now, keep your hands down. You're going to walk forward and come back. So let's do this just five times. Breath in, exhale, one, two, three one two three no matter how much you can go forward just do according to your capacity one two three one two three third one one two three one two three fourth round one two three one two three last one with five counts of holding one two three stay there five inhale exhale four three two one slowly come back to center now from here wow that's a lot of stretch in the hamstrings so you're going to release some stress from the hamstring. So you're going to sit back in Sukhasan and trying to keep your spine straight. You're going to just drop your hands forward and drop your head down. And just be here, release the stress. A long inhale, long exhale and come back to center. You're going to stretch your legs straight forward. And you're going to just relax your thighs, relax your ankle. And relax your thighs again. Okay, so it was day two. So today we did not try to attempt doing a split because now for next at least four to five days, I want to prepare your body which is ready to attempt split and to see how much flexibility you have. By practicing overall these warm ups and stretches will help you release a lot of stress and it will help you to release a lot of tightness from your lower body. Then we'll step by step start moving towards the split. So I hope your body is fine. Do not overdo it. Take it easy and practice according to your body capacity. I will see you tomorrow with day 3. Thank you so much.